Lisa Feldman Barrett, How Emotions Are Made, The Secret Life of the Brain. Dive into the fascinating world of emotions with Lisa Feldman Barrett's book, How Emotions Are Made, The Secret Life of the Brain. This summary challenges the classical view of emotions as reflexes, hardwired and universal. Instead, it unravels the complex and constantly changing nature of emotions, guided by the theory of constructed emotion. Discover how the brain creates emotions spontaneously in various areas, and how factors such as interoception, effects, and cultural influences shape our emotional reality. Prepare to question everything you know about emotions and embark on an enlightening journey into the human mind. The Classical View on Emotions Emotions have long been viewed as reflexes beyond rational control in the classical view shared by Aristotle, Freud, and modern thinkers. This perspective assumes that emotions are universal, pre-wired in the brain, and triggered automatically. Each emotion is considered to have its own essence and physical fingerprint. However, recent studies suggest that emotions are more complex and controllable than previously thought. While emotions have a biological basis, they are also shaped by social and cultural factors. Emotion regulation skills can be learned through mindfulness, cognitive reappraisal, and other techniques. Emotions are not always a hindrance but can improve decision-making and social interactions when managed effectively. Thus, emotions are not just passive reflexes but active responses that can be shaped by conscious efforts to regulate them. Emotions are more complex than you think. Emotion isn't determined by a specific facial expression alone. Expressions vary according to situations, and no single region of the brain is dedicated to a specific emotion. A recent study found that while there are societal expressive patterns to emotions, there is no definite response. Emotions can't be identified simply through physical signs like facial muscle movements, body changes, and brain signals. Science and tech companies throw millions of dollars into this field alone trying to study this misleading phenomenon. Built Emotions According to the theory of constructed emotion, emotions are not natural or involuntary but created spontaneously in different parts of the brain, based on our prior experiences and sensory inputs. The brain uses these inputs to guide our emotional responses, which can vary widely depending on the situation. The author likens this theory to Charles Darwin's concept of species, just as species are populations of individuals that vary subtly depending on their environment, our emotions are also constructed by us as architects of our own experiences. The theory of constructed emotion challenges the classical view of emotions as innate and fixed, instead positioning them as diverse and fluid. The Science Behind Interoception Interoception is an autopilot system that allows the brain to manage internal sensations and create emotions without conscious effort. It is a core component in emotion creation and involves two spectrums covering pleasure-slash-displeasure and agitation-slash-calmness. Affects, which are innate, play a role in the creation of emotions, thoughts, and perceptions. Babies perceive effects from birth, leading to crying and wailing. The Interoceptive Network the interoceptive network operates through a feedback loop between the body budgeting region, which sends preemptive instructions to control the internal environment, and the primary interoceptive cortex, which represents internal sensations. This system regulates the body's resources, responsible for controlling glucose, cortisol, and heart rate. Emotions are stimulated by the state of the body budget, which can become unbalanced due to unpleasant experiences. The brain tries to explain this imbalance by firing off emotions such as fear. How Culture Shapes Emotions Emotion concepts are culturally constructed and depend on social agreement, just like the meaning and function of objects. Our reality is organized by the concepts we use for understanding our environment, and these concepts depend on culture. For example, the Tahitians have no word for sadness, they describe it as, the kind of fatigue associated with the flu. Similarly, the difference between a muffin and a cupcake is cultural, not chemical. 
Social agreement is also responsible for the emotional association of smiling with happiness, which only became significant in the 18th century. Our emotion concepts are formed by cultural convention, and once we know the concept, we will experience the emotion. Emotions, a construct of experience. Emotions are not universal concepts but are learned from society and experience. Our brains retain the capacity to combine new and old experiences to learn and reshape old emotions. For instance, the English word schadenfreude was imported from German because there was no easy way to describe the emotion of feeling happiness at someone else's misfortune. With practice, we can distinguish between various emotions better. Emotions are constructed from experience, and investing in cultivating new experiences becomes the emotional seed of the future. In summary, How Emotions Are Made, The Secret Life of the Brain, by Lisa Feldman Barrett, offers a groundbreaking perspective on emotions, defying the classical view. The theory of constructed emotion, backed by experiments and cultural examples, shows that emotions are not innate or fixed but rather spontaneously created based on experiences and sensory inputs. Interoception, effects, and cultural influences all contribute to our emotions, paving the way for a more nuanced understanding of our emotional life. By exploring these concepts, we can gain a greater appreciation of our emotional diversity and the role emotions play in shaping our experiences and interactions.